Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we are looking at the alternator on the Land Rover. You might notice as well that my voice is a little bit croaky. I've got a bit of the lurgy, so I apologise for that. So, we're looking at the alternator on the Land Rover. I have started to strip it down and find out what's wrong with it. You can see I've got the pulley off and this thing, whatever it's called, with the carbon brushes in. There is a bit of a split on one of these wires. This one here, that's meant to be attached to that. Unfortunately, I'm having a hard time trying to find the parts for this alternator. I've looked everywhere and I can't find anywhere that I can get replacement parts for it. So I have had to bite the bullet and buy a new alternator. This is a uprated 120 amp one. It's just arrived today, so let's get it open. You might also notice I've shaved all my beard off. <laughs> I did it because it's been a good five years since I've had a proper shave and I just wanted a bit of a freshen up it feels a bit naked without it but I am growing it back so don't worry the ginger beard will be making a feature very soon it's been about a week since I shaved it off and it's growing back quite nicely so yeah another month or so and it should be should be good enough right let's get this open So it looks nice and shiny anyway. I have just wanted to check that the pulley is the same size. Because there is two different types of pulleys that you can get. And that will dictate the size of the belt. So that is exactly the same size as the original. This is actually a, an uprated one as well, this one that I've took off. It's a 120 amp one. Um, but the the size is exactly the same as the one that I've took off so I don't have to change the belts or anything like that So it's nice and easy. I'm just going to put this back on the car The plan is to do a bit more digging and see if I can find somewhere that will do spare parts for this Alternator if I can get some spare parts then I can rebuild this and I've got a spare for in case this one knackers up in the future so not an alternator rebuild video but a nice simple fix and it keeps the car running so yeah let's get this car let's get this alternator back on the car and we can get out adventuring again now somebody did actually mention on the previous video to check all pulleys and make sure that they're not grumbling and making noise they all sound pretty silent to me the tensioner has got a little bit of noise to it So it could be that the tensioner needs a new bearing. What I'm going to do is get the alternator on. And if we've still got the noise, I think it could be that. Sounds a bit grindy to me. Really easy to replace that though. So we'll get everything else done. And if it still makes a noise, we'll change that. Be probably be in another video. Right, let's get cracking. <coughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so the moment of truth, everything is back together. Let's get it started. Sounds good. You'll also notice from the side, when we go into the car, Take. We're into the car and it's reading 14.6 volts. Now that means that the alternator is charging the battery, so the alternator is working. Sounds quite nice. It's uh, it's a bit quieter than usual because I haven't put the fan back on yet, but yeah, very happy with that. <sighs> That's a result, isn't it? <laughs> We're back up and running, we can get out adventuring again. So, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, do all that kind of stuff. And I, before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to my newest Patreon pledge, Brett Allen Phillips. Thank you very much, Brett. You're a legend. And if you're interested in joining my Patreon page, it's in the description below. Um, yeah, follow that to help support the channel a bit more. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.